All right, this ain't the, the greatest work of art. You can see as I scratch this out, so we'll do that kind of again here. Uh, but the problem I want to solve is 13 equals 5 plus 3b minus 13. Now, before we worked with two variables, and we've, we were able to just combine the like terms for the variable and then solve. Well, here we're still looking pretty good, right? We have, um, <clears throat> we have only one variable, so that's cool. But remember, when we're solving equations, we always got to undo addition and subtraction. So you notice since I have a positive 5 and I have a negative 13, so which one do I do first? Well, remember we always have to undo addition and subtraction. The answer is it actually doesn't matter as long as you do it to both sides. So what I could do is I could subtract a 5 from the 5 and the 13, or I could add a 13 on the right side and add a 13 on the left side. And both of those would produce equivalent equations, and it doesn't matter which one you do first. Um, to save some time, though, we could just actually combine these into one number so we only have to use one operation. Now, I will just show you why we can combine these, right? They're not right next to each other, but that doesn't mean anything. You can still take 5, positive 5, minus 13, which um, is going to be a negative 8. If you want to use associate property to rewrite it, that's fine. You can do that as well. But positive 5, since these are, since these have the, um, since these are both numbers, they're what we say like terms, so I can combine them. So 5 minus 13 is going to be a negative 8. So you get 13 equals negative 8 plus 3b. Add an 8 to both sides using uh, addition property of equality. And remember, you can only add 8 once on the right side. You can't add it over to there because then you use equivalent equations. So I have 21 equals 3b. Now I undo multiplication by dividing by 3 on both sides, and I get 7 equals b. Then I like to just rewrite this around or switch them around where I can say the value of b is equal to 7. So that is what uh, makes that problem true. And there you go. There's a little step-by-step -step process for you. Hope it helped. Thanks.